Hi and welcome to Unqualified Experts. That's Zia. Hi. I'm Nick. We're the show. We're two people who have no idea what they're talking about, but we're helping the internet solve their problems. Yeah. They're weird, they're strange, and uh, most- These people need help. Yeah, they need help. Probably not from us, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Starting off today, oh boy. <laughs> hey, not really sure what advice I'm looking for, but wanted to get this off my chest. Okay. So I've been dating a 19 year old girl. I'm 21. Okay. Oh, I'm also a girl, ooh. Oh, lesbian. Hey. For the last few months, oh, and God, everything is going like well. So previously, she lived with a guy, and they had been together for a few years. What? Huh? Uh, back in March, he suddenly passed away, and she was the one to find him. Ooh. Yikes. I've always been really supportive when she has talked about him, and after he passed, she was given his phone and found out he was cheating. So it's a complicated situation where she misses him, and hates him at the same time. So today, she posted a picture of the two of them on her Snapchat with the caption, I'm not ready for Christmas without you. Can we turn back time? I Can miss- we find a way? <laughs> I messaged her to make sure she was okay and to be supportive, but obviously it made me feel jealous. Not sure if this is a weird flag, so just wanted to know how other people would feel in this situation. I think that she's not ready to be dating, and I think that you're probably like a pretty heavy rebound, and if I were you, I wouldn't keep seeing her, honestly. Dude I is dead. That, <laughs> he's yeah, a dead man. He's, a, he's true. Like, that's true, but I feel like that's something that's going to take her some time to get over, and she needs to just be on her own and get over that. I think she's using you because she's lonely. I obviously could be wrong, but I feel like she's lonely. She doesn't want to be alone. And, uh, yeah, I feel like now's not the time for her to be seeing anyone. She just needs, she just needs to heal from it and get better on her own. Yeah, that's a bad one. I mean, it's, you're dead. So who knows if she had anything to do with that. She found him. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but, yeah, it's a yeah, weird one. I don't she know. found out he was cheating. Yeah, I don't want to be the one <laughs> who's, who's dating you and you're like, oh, my ex just died. It's like, you know what? I'm good. Because I ain't posting a photo of you two together. Fuck it. No, no. It's kind of disrespectful to your current relationship. Yeah, Even no. though they're Go dead. Go fuck yourself. I don't care if he's dead. Dead or alive. No, nah, fuck your photo. If you want to have he's memories of him dead. and all that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you want to have memories of him and all that shit, fine. But leave me out of it. I, you know, you need to take some time for yourself. Do yeah. what you, you know, you said that. Just yeah. move, do your own shit. Move on. But fuck. You need, you need to take time. Yeah, it's a red flag. Fuck your situation. It's not good. Move on. Yep. Ugh. Agreed. Moving on. Moving on. Hey guys, I'm an 18 year old woman. Uh, you're really a woman. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm an 18 year old, old girl, girl uh, doing a program for my job. It's rather long, so I have to eat a few snacks in between. And one of my favorites is bananas okay. because they are simply delicious. Yeah, bananas are great. This girl's already. Ugh. I already trust her. She likes bananas. Anyway, I've noticed that whenever I pull out my banana, a lot of guys start to look at me while I eat it. I know the obvious choice would be to take a break. Wait, no. Oh, the obvious choice would be to break it off. But I can't really do that because I have to stay in the room during the break and we don't have a sink where I can wash my hands afterwards. Is there any way I can make them stop looking at me or maybe eat the banana a different way? <laughs> What? Make a big scene about it. Just be like, hey, do you guys like when I eat the banana like this? Nah. That's a strange one. That's a super weird Also, one. I feel I like, know. you know, 2021, um, if I'm a dude and I'm staring at you eating banana, I'd be canceled. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be done. I'd, I'd be fired. They'd be like, well, you were giving her looks while eating a banana. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was. Yes, was Gone. <laughs> fired. <laughs> or I'd be an HR program of like, you know, being sensitive towards women or some bullshit. I mean, it, that is a super weird thing. I, it would feel weird if someone kept looking at me while I was eating a banana. I'd be like, what? <laughs> I honestly just think the, the obvious thing there to do is just you make a big deal out of it. Like when someone is staring at you on a bus or like grabs your ass, you fucking make a big scene. And then usually they feel shame and they stop. <laughs> yeah. Like that's kind of yeah. like usually. I, 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 it's a work setting though. So like. Even though women have the power now, even though they, they probably say they wouldn't, they do. 
there's a weird thing of like you can get in trouble for then yelling at someone else because they're staring at you. Like, yeah. oh, you like me when I eat this banana? Ugh. You know, it's like, then you gotta go to HR because a dude for some reason complained. You know what I mean? And then you gotta explain, like, well, then he was staring at me. You don't have to do it me. like that. You could be like, what? Can I help you? Like, is that, why are you staring at you? Can, yeah, you can do eat it that like banana that. Slower. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Deep throat that banana, uh, you slut. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, that's a weird one. That's that is weird. weird. <laughs> All these dudes are just like, yeah. It's that time. She's eating, she don't cut it. She eats it whole. <laughs> that's a strange one. I don't know. Well, she's putting a... I mean, I get it. I understand why they're staring at her. She's putting a phallic-shaped thing in her mouth. Yeah. What if she was sitting there eating popsicles? Guys would be like, yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. It's, it, But it, it, sh it, sh it is ridiculous. Like, of course, you should be able to eat a popsicle or a banana without someone every every single time you do it stare at you. But yeah. It's, I don't know. Moving on, Moving on. Um, you know, d going to a lighter subject. Me and my girlfriend have been together for two years and been through thick and thin together. Oh, shut up. We've been through so much. Everyone together. says that. We've been through oh so much together. It's like, yo, it's your first dude. You're fucking 18. Like, yeah, you've been through <laughs> shit, lady. When you're 30, you're going to be like, why would I be wasting my time with that guy? Uh-huh. Stop it. Yeah. Um, to the point where I'm ready to sacrifice and do anything for her. Fuck off. Uh, recently, her uncle came into, into her town for work reasons. Um, I know that her family and him are really close, and she suspected nothing. What? He asked her to meet, and her being close to him accepted, and they went out. Sus suspicion arose when he started commenting about her body and telling her how she has grown. Ooh. Uh, but she brushed it off and thought nothing of it. Later, after dinner and everything... He was dropping her off back at her, her uni? Uh, I don't oh, know this him. is out of country. Uni is university. Oh, ex excuse me. The university. Back at the university. Uh, in an Uber. <laughs> and in the Uber, he talked to her casually while rubbing her arm. Ooh. And closing in on her. He began going lower and touching her sexually. Ew. She was scared to do anything Bad and went uncle. with it. No. No, you don't go with it. Go with it. Damn it, girl. Go, go with it. Oh. I'm your uncle and I love you. Oh. <laughs> she called me as soon as she got back and broke down as this was unexpected. Um, it broke me hearing her cry and I felt so much anger at her uncle and pain and sadness. I don't know how to help her. She is certain her parents won't believe her due to the two families being extremely close. She is persistent not to tell anyone in fear. I don't know what to do except support her or talk to her as much as I can. Is there any way for me to help her? No. She means the entire world to me and it would break me more if it happened again. No, there's nothing you can do to help her. Only she can decide that she needs help or is going to say something. And I understand that's a weird situation. A lot of times girls are hesitant to say something about... Well, I mean, he, he could be like, yo, unk, the fuck, dude? You're my girl? Like, yo, you think, you think a black dude would let that shit go? No. That's some white <laughs> shit. Being like, well, I don't know how to help her. Yo, Unc, what's up? Yo, fucking front. Like, what you doing, Uncle? Unc? Unc, yeah. <laughs> Unc? Unc him That's in the face. Him. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> He's centrally touching you in the Uber, going back to university, and uh, going lower on her, and she's like, oh, Uncle, it's... I don't know what to do. Okay, fine. She got frozen in the moment. It happens. But then to tell your dude, your dude to be like, I, I just don't know what to do. Yo, you fucking go to Unk's house. My uncle, what's up, dude? You don't know me? So you think that he should go over there and yeah, start yelling Yeah, knock that him? motherfucker in the face. Shut him straight. <laughs> so you, you tell me, right? You go see your uncle. You guys are in the Uber. He starts fucking rubbing you all sensually and shit, right? I would tell my dad. Okay, all right, so you would say something. I would say but something. I'm That's you, fucking weird. All right, you would say something. But I'm saying if you didn't say something and you told me, and if I was just like, I don't know how to help you, and it'd be like, yo, what the fuck, dude? Well, because what is yelling at the uncle going to do? Who's going to yell with fists? Oh, I'm sorry. What's beating up the uncle? Speaking of the mic, got a backup mic right here. <laughs> oh, my God. Joe Dirt, no? Yes, yeah, I remember okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I understand where you're coming from. Like, you'd want to beat the shit out of him. But, I, man, she's got to tell the fa She has to tell her family. But the families are so close. They Who wouldn't believe it. Fuck, then, then fuck your family. I love that. Your the families are just, you. you know, they're good. They're tight-knit family. So they wouldn't believe that Uncle Jimmy's a fucking creep. <laughs> fucking Uncle Jimmy. Ugh. <laughs> 
Ah, she was going back to university. Uni. <laughs> uni. They, they, they call it that in a lot Ugh. of other countries. I think Jeez. England does it that, Australia. Yeah, call it uni. Mm, great. Yeah, that's a weird one. I would say, first off, you need help, sir. Grow some fucking testicles. Go over to Unk's house, show him what's up. And I, and I don't know, tell your girl to fucking also grow some balls and fucking tell someone. Tell your you fucking gotta, family. Yeah, the girl's got to tell someone. The girl's got to tell the family. Go to the police. Be like, yo, my Unk's creepy. You creeped out my Unk. <laughs> Why is I hate so much. We should much. be laughing. It's a serious situation. This is not funny. You keep calling him up. I'm fucked up and we're laughing over oh, it. Oh god. Poor no, poor lady got it fucking uh sensual touched. Oh, that's so weird. In the Uber. Yo, what was the Uber driver doing? And the Uncle Jimmy was all like, ah, well it's so great seeing you. The Uber driver was like, what the fuck's happening back there? <laughs> like an old man touching that young girl. Oh. Driving her back to university. Yeah, I don't know, that's a weird one, man. No, I think that she has. I don't think there's much you can do, and that's unless you really do want to go confront the uncle. You have to, because it's gonna keep on happening. You think after one sensual touch and everything's fucking dandy, he's gonna be like, "Oh, I should stop now." He's like, "Oh, I got a free pass." Well, if she's gonna ever see him again, that's also bat shit. She better not. The families are close knit; they know each other. He's gonna be over all the time. No, no, you gotta tell the family. God damn it, lady, get your shit together. You're victim blaming. I, I don't appreciate this in 2021. <laughs> we need to empower look I'm not and I I do understand sometimes situations like that are scary like a, as a woman I completely understand and I understand having secrets about stuff that you don't tell people and you haven't told anyone I get that a hundred percent but we we really have to start teaching women, women unfortunately the whole thing of like well you know don't wear the short skirt like I I, I get I, I get all that but we really have to start teaching women to just say say something. Say something and defend yourself. So, so you're basically going with the New York uh, motto. You see something, you say something. See something, say something. <laughs> God damn it. Take the Get subway. Fucking unks running around touching women. I'm not saying we should victim blame, but I am saying. You're, I think you're victim blaming. No. I'm Cancel. Just we Cancel. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> we need to tell ladies that they need to, you know. Be loud. Fucking be a bitch. I don't know. If you need to be a bitch. It was a sexy story. Um, good porno, but yeah. No. <laughs> no. Good damn it. Oh. Uh, Cut that out. Yeah. All right. We, we need a palate cleanser. We'll do a quick hit. A uh, very simple question uh, that Reddit asks. What's the best place to hide a condom when going out somewhere? When going out? Oh, like... The that's the question. What's in the your, best place to hide a condom when going out somewhere? In your pocket. You're saying a pocket, but this person had to ask the internet because they didn't know. A, a pocket's no good for this person. What if it was Unk? Unk's about to see his fucking niece. He's like, where do I put the condom? Where, are you, <laughs> where else would you put a condom? It's either your wallet or your pocket. Like, where are you, your butt crack? Like, what answers are you looking for? <laughs> oh, oh, the yeah, sock, the I guess. Sock. Yeah, you can put it in the sock. Yeah, in the sock. Uh, smart, smart. That's kind of gross, though. You're just walking around. Walking around on a condom. Yeah, no. It's a hole in it, and then you have a Yeah, baby. no, I feel like that's a bad idea. Well, you can put it on the side. You don't have to put it under the bottom. I don't know. Who uses condoms anymore? It's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, yeah, especially when that uh, new STD that's eating your genitals. It's that's flesh eating genitals. Flesh eating STD. genitals. Yeah, I wouldn't be careful out there. Who doesn't uh, Who doesn't want that? That's a, that's a weird question, man. Um, Anywhere yeah, you have, have pockets, pocket. you don't have pockets. What are you, a lady? You have no pockets. And even if you're a, well, and then if you're a lady, I guess you're like ultra responsible because usually it's the dude who has to get the look. I feel like this is this is one thing where I'm a little bit old fashioned. The dude should be the one that has the condoms or gets them. Uh, yeah, I, sure, but that's my that's like my one old fashioned but, thing. But this is a woke show in 2021. The women should also be having the condoms uh, if you want to. Everything's I guess. equal. Yeah. Hey. Why should Unk just have him? Then he should have him too. They might have a sensual experience in an Uber. You never know. Yeah, that's what she has the condoms for. She's like, just in case Unk comes on to me. <laughs> hey, Unk, I can't say Unk. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Moving on. Moving on. So, I just found out that I'm not my girlfriend's type. I'm really an average height dude. Not bad in terms of looks. One day, out of curiosity, I asked her, what type of dream man... Wait, okay. As I say, Reddit people don't know how to fucking no, write. Not write this, these sentences are a fucking mess. I'm trying to fix them while I read, but sometimes I can. I'm just like, what are you saying, sir? 
One day, out of curiosity, I asked her her. That's what he wrote. Her He meant her type. And Dream Man. And I just watched her describe someone who is not me. Why did you ask that question? Yeah, that's really good. That's, that's, like, that's like a Jim Norton thing. So, hey, your ex-boyfriend. Was his dick bigger than mine? Yes, Jim. Oh, oh I'm turned on, but also feel horrible inside. Why would you ask? Please tell me more. <laughs> um... Sometimes she sent me videos of tall, white, ripped, six feet tall, colored, eyed men's... Wait, what? Color... Hold on. Six feet... <laughs> wait, hold on a second. I don't know if this guy's racist or he's talking about eyes. I don't know. She sent me videos of tall, okay, white, okay, so, so white, white, ripped, six feet tall, colored eyed. What does that colored mean? Colored eyed, he means like not brown eyes. Not shit brown. Like green or blue. Okay. Or, or yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, the colors. Like, I'm like, whoa, where are we going I know. with this? He this is... the... I've never heard anyone say colored eyes. Colored eyes, eyed men. Because you say color eyed men. You... I don't know what you're saying. All right. Content on Instagram and stuff. Sometimes. Why is she doing that? Yeah, why? Wait, hold on. What is happening? Why is she. Hey, you know what I'm really into, boyfriend? Let me send you the Instagram shit. That's really strange. Sometimes I can see her low-key admiring tall, muscular, dark men with beards. She even hit on one of my friends once and told him if she hadn't have met me, she would have dated him. Oh, boy. She, but she says she loves me. <coughs> I'm dying here. <coughs> but one thing I've come to know, love is not enough. What? <laughs> okay. I just can't get past it no matter how much I try. It destroyed my confidence in myself. I don't even know what to do. How can you be with someone and you know deep down, you know there's a version of a man that she wants and it's not you? I have no idea. Maybe I'm insecure, but I've never been insecure about anything until I met her. A constant feeling of not being enough. Wow. Okay, so as a woman, I can relate wow. to this. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, just it's, I feel like, yeah, not being enough. I get that. I, I understand where he's coming from to an extent. Um, but to start off with... <laughs> This 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 goes like this this takes me on a bit of a roller coaster here. To yeah. start off with, why did you ask her? That's on you. Hey, hey, you're yeah. a fucking idiot. I know I'm with you. What type of guy do you like? Yeah. Oh, like, not me? Oh, shucks. <laughs> yeah, like that sucks, <laughs> but that's on you, dummy. You asked. Uh, but then we get into weird territory where she starts sending him Instagram reels of other dudes. See, I the, that's fucking we weird. We don't know the context of that. There could be the context of she's fucked up. She's like, hey, look at this guy, he's great. Or he's like, hey. Show me photos of dudes who you actually like, and but I don't know why he would ask that. But why would he ask the first why would question he ask to begin the with? First time, yeah, that's. I don't know. That's something that you typically ask, like kind of on a first date sort of thing, or a second date when you're first getting to know someone. That's not something you ask someone you're already with and yeah, in love with. Yeah, that's, that's that's a strange weird. one. Uh, but here's where I get to the point where I'm like, okay, now you have to dump her. She hit on your friend. Yeah, it's a big no-no. No, you can't hit on your boyfriend's friends. It's not okay. And the worst part is like, hey, if I haven't met this loser, I'd be with you. And yeah. You're, and you're over here like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think she might be fucking with him. I think that she might like to do this kind of shit. Yeah, that's when you gotta, okay, yeah. you're like, yeah, fuck off, bitch. Yeah, fuck I, think off. He needs, I think he needs to dump her. People are fucking too trusting with people and too, um, what's the word? They, they let too much happen. They're, they st like lay down and take it. Yeah, like yeah. it's like there's a there's so many people you could date anyone. There's millions of people. There's so people many people. The you chose one. You're like, no, I'm sticking with this one. No, move the fuck on, dude. Don't let them treat you like shit. Because like it ain't get, listen. It's not gonna last. It's already showing signs. This shit ain't lasting. Just move. You're wasting time. You could be with other people. They might suck, but at least keep moving because you might find the good one. Yeah, keep it trying. It takes time. You don't just fucking sit on this bitch. She's hitting on your friends. <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, you can't be with someone that's... It's, it literally was... At first, I was like, well, this guy's an idiot. Why would you yeah, ask that? Yeah, he's adult, that? too. Who he else? is dumb. What kind of guy do you like? Oh, it's not me. Oh, yeah. You, you hit on my friend. By the, yo, by fucking the first thing. All right, well, you know what? Ain't gonna work out. Peace. Well, no, that's not true. Oh, fuck no, off. no, 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 no. I think that's I think that that's ridiculous. I think you can 100% fall in love with someone who's not your typical type. Yeah, of course. But be happy with them and not want to go fuck other people. Like I think but that she that, was so specific that it's just showing that no, this is not gonna last. Yeah. If she was too color-eyed men, she probably said that. Color-eyed men. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I love the color in their eyes. Oh, fuck off.
Yeah, you can't, you can't, literally where I draw the line is you cannot hit on your boyfriend's friends. You can't, or yeah, your girlfriend's no. friends. Like, you just can't. Just don't That's do like that. That's like a no. Yeah, so dude, you need to move the fuck on. Um, <laughs> and you need to grow some balls, you know. Maybe, maybe go, go fight Onk. Onk needs a good fist oh fight. God. Grow some balls. Where does everyone's going to fight Onk? <laughs> Please. And yeah, she sounds like a real bitch. Yeah, that sucks. So let her find her fucking, she, she sounds like a shallow fuck. She needs one of those dudes who's six feet tall. Bitches who need a guy who's six feet and over just cause, just cause, there's no reason for it, just cause, they fucking suck. You don't want them. I honestly kind of feel that same way because I feel like that's like a guy who's like, no, I have to date a chick with giant tits. Giant, ooh, you're giant like, tits. Why? It's like, oh, yeah, you guess. But. So you're discounting everyone else who's either shorter or doesn't have, and I'm saying that as someone with tiny tits, so I'm over here being like, fuck you. But no, but it feel, it's weird. It's, it feels No, it makes no fucking sense. Like it's crazy. Strange, it's fucking crazy. You can have, I, I think it's totally fine to have preferences. But as like that, something is like a deal breaker. Yeah, no, that's nuts. That's that's. Crazy. You're cutting off how many people? Someone you might meet who's actually genuinely good for you, and you're like, well, he, he's great and all, but he's six feet. He just, he's ten. He just doesn't hit that. It's like for what? Yeah. It's like people with their fucking iPhones. I have an iPhone. You just want to show the fucking thing off. It sucks. You're spending a thousand dollars on this fucking piece of shit. Yeah. This crack screen. We get it. You got a Gucci bag. Who cares? You do it to show. No one gives a shit about your fucking boyfriend and his height except you showing off to other bitches, right? If you need to do that, you're in the fucking relationship for the wrong reasons. Other bitches. Grow the fuck up. Yeah, no, I agree. Seriously. I, think I do. I think it's really silly. It's just so stupid. It's very silly. Oh, God. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> getting Nick, riled up. I was going to say, little, Nick, little Nicky's getting riled up. God damn it. Um, every year as Christmas approaches, my oh, wife will show me out. things online to see my reaction. And every year, instead of buying what I say I would love to have, she gets me the item I specifically say I don't like. Oh, my God. Um, is she and have stupid? no use for. Once or twice is one thing, but over the last few years, it's been constant. For example, a few years back, she sold me two wedding bands. She was looking because I've lost a lot of weight and mine was very loose. Oh, good for you. Um, of the two she showed me, guess which one I ended up with? So obviously the one he didn't want. What does that mean in your opinion? Huh. I figure either she isn't listening or is doing it on purpose. She sucks. You married a what loser. She's doing it on it's a loser. purpose. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Why? She's like, hey, what do you think about this, this, and this? Well, I really like uh, A. I'm going to buy you C. You're being a C, bitch. No, that's fucking crazy. You're being a C. Can you imagine if I was like, yo, which one do you like? And you were like, oh, I like that one. And I got you the opposite every year, every time yeah. for multiple things. I'd be like, what the fuck, dude? This messed up, man. Yeah. And he's weird. over here and be like, well, I don't... What do you think? Is that... Is this a red flag? You, you married the wrong person. Just dump her. Get rid of her. I'm a scorched earth <laughs> with this shit. You're wasting time. You're wasting... Nick is just like with anything. Just no, fucking dump because her. It's crazy. Because, <laughs> if, dude, if this is happening through something so simple, everything else is fucked. You know everything else is fucked. I mean, this if is If you can't even thing. buy the right gift... When she's literally showing you, do you want this or this? And you're like, I want this. And then she got you this. No. No, every time, as he said it, one or twice, okay, whatever. But, okay, but every he, said, time. he said reaction, so get her reaction. He's not specifically saying, hey, I want this thing. He's saying like, oh, it, maybe she's just really stupid. I guess in which case, do you really want to be with someone that dumb? <laughs> it, ma it makes no sense. It is real. No, that's weird. Crazy. Why is she? Why is she fucking everything up? Get your shit together, lady. Either either she's a spiteful, crazy person, or she yes, yeah, she's just dumb. I, I don't know. It makes no sense to me. Does she think you're cheating on her? And she's this is her way of getting oh, back God. at you. <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking get this guy. If you're not cheating and she thinks you're cheating, she's cheating. Please. That's usually how that works. Oh God. These dudes, like, step your game up. Like you Get just, your shit together. People. Don't put up with bullshit. Be alone. It's okay to be alone for a little bit. And then find new people. There's people who don't do this bullshit. They're out there. You, you know? might have to go through a lot of shitheads first, but you'll find them. But go through them. Quit. You don't have to stay with them for fucking years. Do a fucking week, a couple of dates, a month. You know, you don't have to do long-term shit. It's easy to fucking figure out, oh, this person's no bueno. I mean, shit, that's how we fucking met. Yeah, it's true. Some girl came out to California who I did not know. <laughs> as soon as she got in my car from the airport, I was like, oh, shit. I knew immediately. This is fucked. And she was week. she was so bad. I then hit her up and I was like, "Yo, please, let's go on a date." Because the other bitch was so bad. I need to get this fucking taste out of my mouth of just horribleness. It was. He said he thought about me the whole time. 
time. Yeah, right, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And that's and then I now I get to thank this this lady for for us being together. She's the reason we're married now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she'd love that knowledge. Oh yeah, no, she she her life just. She's not, she was not happy. I remember when we were dating, we first started dating because they were still talking. Because he was like, "Yeah, we can still be friends." When he when he like let her because he's a, he's he's a softy on the inside. He's a nice guy. Scorched earth. <laughs> He's a, he's a big softie. Uh, he's like, yeah, we can still, like, we, she was like, can we be friends or whatever? And he's like, yeah, we can still be friends. So they're, like, texting or whatever. And she had to tell him that she was going to unfriend him and not talk to him anymore because she couldn't stand seeing him with me. Yep. So it was not, like, a, she was not happy about the whole thing. No, no, no. <laughs> this is not a hey, good thing. I, for some reason, and I hate because people are like, oh, you're talking yourself up. I'm like, go fuck yourself. This is how it goes. There's been some girls, not all, but a lot of girls that I've seen or met for some reason, they fall in love, right? And then I'm the one. I'm the one. This is it. We, we need to be together forever. And then when it doesn't happen, they go fucking batshit and their life just fucking tanks. And you could be like, well, Nick, you're just talking crazy. There, I can name multiple sources where their lives are shit and they thought I was it. And I was like, whoa, you're fucking nuts. And he then, attracts all the crazies. Yeah, a lot of crazies. But hey, I can't, I can't control nuts. that. They're all nuts. Yeah. All of, the girls that are obsessed with you end up are nuts. Well, I mean, to be obsessed <laughs> over a person, you have to be, a you have to be nuts. You gotta be a little nuts. To nice. like a level where you're like, oh no, it's me and you. It's like we just met. <laughs> and you're you already thinking about like ten years from now of us being together forever? Like no, it's... you're like I don't know. You like that lady? Oh god. Yeah. Any girls watching? Like if you're gonna be that strong, most dudes are gonna run away. Like, yeah. And if they not, if they if they don't, they're not normal, and you need to run. Yeah. If any guy is like all fucking in in like the first three dates, like you, this isn't good. <laughs> It's not a good sign. You need to get to know someone first. And that being said, though, we moved in together, what, after three months of dating? Yeah. That's not a, that's very quick. That's very, very quick. So, I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes it works. Sometimes, sometimes it, it don't. Works. You know, but I would say, yo, before marriage, though, you got to live together. Yeah. Because you got to know if you're going to strangle the person before. Any people who are like, I'm getting married. Like, you guys don't live together. I'll be fine. It's not going to be fine. It's not going to be fine at all. Do they <laughs> snore? Are they messy? Snore. Snoring is the least of your concerns. I want to punch you when you snore. I was sick. <laughs> I know. Thank God you stopped. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I don't think I could be with a snore, I'm realizing. I'm realizing that thank fucking God you don't snore because if you did. That's not shallow I, at all. I might. I, I'm sorry, but I need sleep. I need sleep. <laughs> like That's a really tough one. Moving on. Moving on. Um, kind of staying in the same vein. Uh, let's see. Oh, ooh. oh no, oh never mind. I thought it was two girls. I was One mistaken. Oh. No, no. Um, I'm a 19 year old male, and my uh -huh. girlfriend is also 19. Okay. Uh, we're on the couch watching this show she likes called Criminal Minds. Really, at 19? It's like a network fucking police shitty Which one drama. Is that? Oh, it's like minds? it's like every you know um, NCIS. Yeah, it's all it's shit. all the all same right, type. Yeah, okay. People are yelling at me. It's a good show. I, maybe I don't know. I have never seen. Most it. that network shit's not that great. I typically don't like network TV. So. Um, I've only watched it a few times, but it's her favorite show, so I'll sometimes watch it with her. While we were Sorry. watching the show yesterday, she said, "God, how I would love to have a piece of that dark chocolate." <laughs> <laughs> I looked at her and said, "The fuck do you mean?" <laughs> She said, oh, I'm going to mess up this dude's name. Shamar Moore is sexy as fuck. I'd fuck him any day of the week. <laughs> and I said, and I guess I'll just go fuck myself, right? And she got pissed off at me saying that. Um, even though they'll most likely never see each other. So I shouldn't have anything to worry about. Hearing her say that really pissed me off. I understand people have celebrity crushes. But at the same time, if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't be thinking about other people that you want to fuck besides your lover. Oh, God. <laughs> your lover. Stop. Oh, Shut okay. up. You're 19. Oh, lover. God. You're my lover. Unless you don't truly believe he or she is your lover. Using the word again. At least that's just my way of thinking. I don't know. I'm just overthinking this. Or is she in the wrong? Talking about sleeping with another man. Okay. They're both in the yeah, wrong. Yeah, you're, bo you're, bo you you're both You're both suck. in the wrong. I'm just going to say right now you're both in the wrong. He is... He is an idiot for thinking that your lover is the only person you're going to think about. It's Ugh. super normal to be in relationships and think other people are attractive and get little crushes. And what, like that's like a very normal thing. It's whether or not you act on it and you're a piece of shit. 
but that's but she was also insanely disrespectful for yeah. saying it like that. God. You say that. How I'd love to have a piece of that dark chocolate. That's cheesy as fuck. And then right for your part, I'd fuck him any day of the week. That's you don't do that. That's so that is fucked up. Like why would you say it's one thing to be like, oh, oh wow, he, that's a, like a really attractive person. Totally different than like, hey, I'd fuck that person. I, like any what's day of the week. Yeah, that you? that's that's you're pretty, an asshole. That's pretty shitty. He's also an asshole. <laughs> like they're both. Assholes. I love. He's an asshole because he used to wear lover. My lover. <laughs> oh, it's like that dude. old SNL skit from back in the day with lover. It's like yo, it's so <laughs> gross. Who says that? What's it? You're 19. Yes, 19 love. It's nothing about. It's nothing love about your relationship. You don't know what that fucking means yet. Shut up. You don't know what that means. Yet. Fucking Christ, love her. Um, yeah, your girlfriend sucks. Your she girlfriend sucks. sucks, and you suck. You, guys, you know, you didn't get your shit together. But they're young. They'll they'll learn this with yeah. experience. Yeah. I mean, is it wrong for her to say that shit yes. in general? No, no, it's not wrong. Oh. It's just wrong in the context of you guys were both watching the show. Yeah. And she was just straight up like, "Yo, fuck that guy any day of the week." fucking dark chocolate over here and you're just like you're like the guy from before oh mm, <laughs> i don't know what to do mm, what if when we were watching the witcher i was like oh yeah i want to fuck i let henry cavill fuck me anytime i'd be like yo i'm trying to watch the show shut up <laughs> why are you talking say the movie theater shut your fucking mouth what are you doing oh yeah that's super weird that's such a weird th why would you do that yeah I, you know, all these guys yo step your game up as i said before no don't put up with it She's in the wrong. Tell her to shut up. Be like, yo, you can put an ultimatum. You can either leave her and go, yo, I can't fucking deal with this shit. Which people would say, Nick, it's going too far. All right. Or you'd be like, yo, just don't say that shit anymore. You're hurting my feelings. It's being disrespectful for it's the most part. It's disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> it and really then is. if she does it again, you move on. That's it. Find another but one. But jizz on her face first. You don't, don't do that. That's, <laughs> a, that's assault, brother. <laughs> uh, moving on. Moving on. Um, I am a 17 male, I'm an only child, and I wanted to come out to my family that I'm bisexual for a few months now. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, but I keep getting stressed just thinking about it. I don't handle stress well. I don't know if I should wait till I turn 18 or do it as soon as possible. I don't even know what's the right place or time. There's not going to be a right place. There's not going to be a right time. It doesn't matter whether you do it if you're 17 or you're 18. You just got to do it. I think you just is something you just gotta go for it. I listen. I'm not bisexual. I'm not gay. Um, so I, I I don't know the burden of the feeling because in my head, as a person who has no idea what the fuck they're talking about, why do I need to tell anyone anyway? You honestly, know what I mean? Like, what, I'm, I'm gonna tell my parents. Like, it doesn't matter. No, honestly, I agree. I I legitimately think that we should live in a world where you don't have to come out and you can just bring whoever you're dating home. Like, I really do feel like it should be that God way. damn it, this is Jesus home. <laughs> queers up in here. <laughs> Saying Texas, steers and queers? Like, yeah, no, I mean. That I, would be the ideal I world, get the but... idea that, you know, you might be living with someone who's like, ah, burn, burn them in hell. Like, so, yeah, then, you know, it's not going to go over well. But at the same time, it's like, yo, maybe you just live your life. You're not, you're not going to be living at home forever. If your parents suck and you're that worried, they, they probably stink. And you probably shouldn't say anything to begin with. Right, because you, if you're that stressed being like, I don't know if to tell moms and pops, it's like... Moms and pops. I, then maybe you guys' relationship isn't that great to begin with. Yeah, yeah, you would hope that it would just be one of those things where you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I don't know, I would, I would really hope that if I ever had a kid, it would be the kind of household where it's like, you can tell me anything and you know I'm going to love you. Like, so where they wouldn't have to be scared or they could just bring their boyfriend home and be like, hey mom, this is my boyfriend. And I'd be like, hi, nice to meet you. Like, Ah, uh, son, now I know not why you're walking funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be next dumb. Canceled. <laughs> Canceled. 2021. Can't make jokes like that anymore. Um, yeah. So, I listen, dude. I, I wouldn't stress about it. I would just fucking relax knowing that it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter about them at all. It's your life. You need to do what's best for you. But if he wants to, like, if this, he feels if you like want this to, is something that he wants to but do. But as I said, if you're that worried about it, that's probably not a good sign. Right? Mm. Yeah, maybe. I guess... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's just stressing about it for no reason, though, and his parents would be like, that's okay. But then there's also, there have been people I've met in life who are obviously gay, and you, you as well have known them, right? And mm -hmm. they, they're like, you know, they don't say they're gay. They, they act like they're not gay, but everyone knows they're gay. And then they come out, like, fucking five years in, and like, you know, I'm gay. And you're like, yeah, no, I know. And they're like, what? And it's like, dude, like, no one cares. It's very obvious it's very that no one cares. No one gave a shit. It's all good, happy for you, but like, 
One of my friends... You were, you were stressing over this for for no reason. Right, for no reason. <laughs> One of my friends was like that. Um, he came out, jeez, uh, after high school, I think. And literally when he came out to all of us, we're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> it doesn't make us feel any different about you. We knew the entire time. We love you. You have great fashion sense. <laughs> You know, you dress well. He was he was over at our house one time hanging out, and my sister wasn't wearing pants because th that's that. Like I'm saying, we all knew he was gay. She was wearing just underwear. He, oh. I think she, he had slept over or something like that. And my dad came home, and he was like, "Oh my god, Sienna, can you please put some pants on?" He was like really freaking out about it. And the dude was, was like, like, "Oh, it's great. Yeah, please. Yeah, <laughs> put it on. So nasty. Like, what oh, is that? <laughs> it's oh, like gaping god. hole." Ugh. Yeah, because she was wearing, she was just sitting, letting her badge hang out. She's just like, hey, hey, take a look know, at man. my hole. I don't know, it's your sister. Anything can happen. Aww. Wouldn't put it past her. I gotta write her a letter. She's in jail, by the way, for everyone watching. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know, she's in jail. I was and like, I'm, write her a letter. How old is this? I, she, Four score. And, yeah. Seven years ago. Uh, I have, do, you, do we have parchment and quill? I can get some for you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah. All right. So moving, moving on. on. For context, I'm 22. After high school, I went separate ways with pretty much everyone I used to talk to. Okay. Some moved far away for work, some left for college, and some just weren't a good idea to keep around. And before someone says it, I know this can go both ways. I have a fiance, and she's pretty much in the same boat when it comes to friends, but she goes to college. Neither of us are social butterflies. I got a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a lot of food before this, and I can't talk. I'm so full right now. Yeah. Um, I got a full-time job pretty much right out of high school and couldn't afford college, so I'm just working. The most I ever leave the house is to go to the gym, run errands, or go shopping with my fiancé. Yeah. I've hung out with a couple of old friends, but uh, sparingly because they live really far away. To be honest, I kind of miss being forced to be around strangers every day like I was in school, even if I didn't enjoy most of their company. I at least had the opportunity to talk to others. I, uh, I work with a small team at my job and we get along, but they made it pretty clear that they aren't interested in hanging out with anyone outside of work or at least just me. <laughs> <laughs> Does your personality suck, dude? <laughs> uh, people who've been out in the world for a bit longer, how the hell do you meet new people? Do you just approach them? Do you go to specific events? I just feel like I'm out of the loop. Oh, please tell us because I know you're great at making friends. I need to refill my social battery and I do a lot of social things you already. You just stole that saying from my sister who said that about two hours no, ago. You've no. You've never said that in your life. No. You just stole that. I've read about that before too. Show your face. I it I need to I need time to myself to recharge. I do a lot that's very I do a lot of streaming okay. and shows and things like that. We've, it's a lot we, of we've energy. We've known each other what, ten years? Yeah. Okay, in that Almost. ten years you not had quite. a lot of time to recharge that battery. How many friends have you made? That's not true. I used to hang out with people all the time in L.A. I made friends in L.A. You didn't. Because <laughs> I have friends. I have lots of friends. Yeah, so but, but you're saying no, but I made friends in L.A. Okay. She would hang out with them all the time. I did. I hung out with Cole. I hung out with Jessa. I hung out with Christian. I hung out with Bree. I saw Bree every week. We had lunch every week. You know why they, they saw each other every week? Because they worked together. That, that's why. That counts. That's where you make friends. Look, I can't tell this. I, he's, don't listen to him. I've made friends. Um, and sh shut up. I'm not saying anything. I have one friend. Bree's now wants See? to move out to she New York. See, she has one friend. No, Uno. So stupid. Oh, there's no dose. It's, it not, ain't coming. <laughs> I, well, all of my friends are back in Hawaii. So when I moved, I had to make all new friends. So like all my childhood friends are you, from Hawaii. You had to make new friends. But you didn't make I new friends. Did. You can you can take the reservation. You just can't keep the reservation. This guy's such an idiot. <laughs> My friend who came who I made in LA came out here to New York, and I went and saw them. Like we're that kind of friend. And Christian's coming out, and we're gonna meet up too. And these are friends that I made in LA that are making the effort to see me when they come out here. Okay, so work friends. So you live here in Jersey now. How many friends have you made? I moved here in the middle of quarantine. We were literally in the middle of a pandemic and I was working from home. Who the fuck are you meeting? We weren't going anywhere. Uh, so basically to answer your question, she has no idea. Uh, in the same boat as you. Listen, it's hard. I get it. I don't like making new friends. It's I have a, a large friend pool, but it's all because I have friends from elementary school, middle school, and we've been friends, you know, forever. 
those are my those are my people. Uh, you know, I really don't want to go outside of that. And even in LA, like there was no one I wanted to be friends with. I made plenty of friends in LA. I am happy with my my friend making. I don't need any more friends than he's so full of shit. I swear to fucking god. I swear to god. She had work friends. She had work friends. Yeah, but we hung out outside of work. Yeah, no, I believe you. I swear to God. I swear <laughs> to God. You're driving me crazy. He, he keeps being like, you gotta make friends, you gotta make friends. I'm like, I have friends, I'm good. And then I made friends. I made friends with Chrissy. I love Chrissy. And Work friend. That's how you make friends. How else do you meet people? That's how you meet people. You meet people at work or you meet people at other hobby things that you do. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to cut his head off when he's sleeping. That went from zero to 50 really hard. Really fast. God damn it. You get me flustered, Nick. I'm going to get head later. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God. I swear to God. Yeah, you make friends at work. That's pretty much you make friends at work or through the other things that he you do. He just said the work people want nothing yeah, to do with him. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's how you do it. You can't. This idiot over here put me on fucking Bumble to make friends. It was awful. I'm never doing. Anything. I had to try because I'm someone never... wasn't putting effort in. To do what? Make friends. How? Um, Bumble has a friend thing. So people are like Bumble's date. No, they have a friends thing to meet friends. Um, there's a lot of people on it. You know, a lot of fucking interest. And she looked at all the people and there. She was like. I'm not messaging these people. Too much work. And that was the end of that. That's not true. I messaged a bunch of people. And it was awful. And I'm never doing it again. I don't like people enough to do any of this. I, you, you go to places and then you find people that you click with through common interests or sometimes at work. And that's how you make friends. And if I click with them, I'm happy. Otherwise, I don't want to make the effort of going out there to meet a bunch of people. I'm not doing that. It sounds fucking horrific. Um, it's a horrible idea. Right, sure. Some okay. Uh, I I would suggest maybe if you're into video games, um, it's very easy to jump into like a MMO type of game. Jump on a Discord. You're immediately talking to new people. They're usually pretty chill. You know, it's it might be internet friends, but at least you're starting. And depending no, on you told me that didn't count because I was like, oh, I have my internet friends, and you're like, that doesn't count. Who's your internet friend? My all my mods. I like them. I like them as people. Okay, all right. We're not. You're you're. Okay, first. Do you hear this? Okay, first off, completely different situation. You're you're technically a, a zealous celebrity who is never zealous. is never really <laughs> meeting these people. I'm talking about this dude who might eventually can meet up with these people if they're. Yeah, you remember how that happened to your happened with your friend? She met her internet friends. It was bad. Cause she's a girl. And everyone wants to bang girls. So okay, my friend Heather, huge internet friends, known them for years. Uh, eventually met up with one of them. Of course, he wanted to bang. But that's just how it goes. I understand. Listen, I'm not saying it's right, but I could see how that happened. But if you're a dude and meet other dudes and get a fight, that's they're not gonna try to bang you. Like that's not like that's a, what you think. Oh my god! I know plenty of gay guys who play video games. Of course, there's, Jesus Christ! <laughs> now you know how I feel. You son of a bitch. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Quick palate cleanser. Uh, bleh, palate, palate. I'm having a stroke. Palate cleanser. I'm, I'm, I'm smelling burnt almonds or nuts. What is it when you have a stroke? Burnt toast. Burnt toast. Burnt almonds. <laughs> Burr, I'm, I'm losing. Don't make fun of You can't make fun of stroke people. Okay. It's not a good cancer. That's what you mean when you give me stroke kisses? Yeah. Oh, stroke kisses. He wants, that's what he wants, stroke kisses. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a 21-year-old female. I just got back into dating. And I can't remove hair from my groin area because of scar tissue. And then... And, and, a normally sensitive skin. Will this be an issue for a potential partner? I did not see that one coming. That really caught me off guard. <laughs> not what I was expecting either. Hold on. So she because she has scar tissue. I'll, there? I'll read it again. Yeah, and not a, not a lady voice. <laughs> it's really distracting. I'm a 21 year old female. I just got back into dating, and I can't remove hair from my groin area because of scar tissue, and I have really sensitive skin. Will this be an issue for potential partner? Yes. I think it depends on the partner. Most. I don't know. I think a lot of guys aren't going to give a shit. They just want that pwn. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> too much You're right. Hair. Depending on certain <laughs> dudes, and if it's just, you know, a one-night stand, they're just going <laughs> to deal with it. If you're looking as a potential partner... No, you're probably going to have to figure something out. Unless the guy's like loves the old 70s fucking big gross bush. Maybe. You can trim it. You can trim it and get a little buzzer. Buzz it. Oh, Make it nice. She's got sensitive skin. Yeah. 
bicep trimmer buzz. Go look into laser treatments. They exist. You can do it and then the hair won't grow at all. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah, the laser treatment that I got on my face and my chest, the IPL, it's the same treatment. They just use, I think, like a different head um, for, for hair removal. Okay. Yeah, you totally can do that. And, and it's not very, like, intense on your skin. Like, it, it is, but it isn't. It's like a sunburn. So there you go. I, <laughs> I don't know. That's a, it's a it's weird horrible. question. You went to the internet and talked about your groin area and the hair. And but I think if a guy really daters. legitimately likes you, he won't hate. Like, he'll, it's not, I feel like, is that a real deal breaker? As I said, guys who are just going to, you know. No, you know, but I mean, if you really like the person. If you really like, like hey, the I person. I can't shave. I'm sorry. Yeah, because of like a <sighs> legitimate issue. That's a rough one, dude. I don't know. I think some guys will be like. It's it's more of like a bother. It's like, ugh, she's great, but damn that res it's a big turnoff. And it's a it's a problem when that's the area. So like, you know what I mean? Like that it's gonna cause issues. So a guy might deal with it, but eventually he might be like, you know what, this is getting ridiculous. I can't, I can't I'm just not feeling it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Other guys will be like, Yo, I don't give a shit. I'll I'll take all of it. You know what I mean? I'll fucking afro down there, I don't care. They exist, of course. Everyone's got their own thing. So, you'll find someone. You'll find someone. Either way. Either get the laser treatment or just, just, just let it grow. Be like a forest. Let your freak flag fly. Let your oh. bro fro grow. Oh, God. No, it's horrible sayings. Um, hmm. I wonder what time is it. You know what? Let's go to memes. Is it meme time? It's meme time. Meme time. People are asking, because uh, you don't do memes when we have guests on. Yeah. You do a sensual story, which the guests <laughs> hate reading. <laughs> Which I think is great. I mean, I don't know if anyone else enjoys it. I just don't it. want to get me too. Like, we have some guests on, and they're like, they made me read it. I'm just like, oh, no. Uh, deal with it. All right, close your eyes. Okay, hold on. And look. <laughs> when your girl is sucking you off in your sleep, <laughs> oh, yeah, no! remember, you have no girl. You live alone with Unk. <laughs> it's always Unk. <laughs> Undertaker ever. <laughs> Yo, Unks gets around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Unk is kind of a man <laughs> Uh, Yeah, so that's a thing. That's, that's Uncle Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, close your eyes. Alright, hold on. And go. Ah, yes. The legendary battle between Darth Diabetes <laughs> and Obi-Wan <laughs> Chromosome. <laughs> I'll make it bigger for the people at all. There you go. <laughs> that, that comment has 809 likes, and that is one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> diabetes and Obi-Wan chromosome. Who do you think wins in that fight? <laughs> oh, Darth Dada. Uh, Obi, Obi, you know what? I'm going to go Obi-Wan chromosome. Yeah? Yeah, because they got that uh, strength. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa. I did say. Canceled. And also... Darth Diabetes is going to have a hard time running around and breathing. So, like... That's true. He's going to... You know what I mean? He's stronger, so if he catches him. But I feel like if one chromosome is, like, quicker, he's, he's got the upper hand. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> all right, all right. Breathing like a real fight. Next one. I will try to draw your username. Go ahead. Don't read that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my time. <laughs> and you can see that's, my time that's, to that's shine. Squidward. You can see yes, that. Yeah, yes, okay. Yes. Just making sure. But it's a, I, it yeah, is a, but not the, right. yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, boy. That's all right. Oh, okay. the internet. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, what's wrong with this one? Oh, something's off here. Use soap, scrub, count to 20. Rinse, dry. You notice? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy writes, so this is how Michael Jackson did it. <laughs> Why did they progressively become lighter? That's racist as shit. Yeah, right? That like, is racist you just wash as shit. wash the black off your hands. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's not even like you, you put dirt on your hand. Like, they could have just put some dirt. They just made the whole hands black. The whole hands. Then, you know, then, like, mildly brown and then completely white. Was, did they, did they, is this, was this created in, like, the 1960s? I don't understand. Oh, no, I think this is, like, a new. This is new. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, you say 1960, that's a new soap dispenser, if you notice in the first image. Oh, you're right. That's the one where it's the set. Oh, God. Yeah, it's automatic, so that, oh, that ain't old. No. That ain't old. Okay, moving on here. Let's move this over. She's a Nazi. And this is uh, going on. The girl in the bottom row looks like Hispanic. And this is like a picture where it's a bunch of uh, people okay. with swastikas on them. They posted themselves. Oh, I saw that. Saw the photo. I fucking saw that. Why would you do that? Yeah, so we, we pulled, you know, so she looks like Hispanic, blah, blah. So she's a Nazi. And then Dora the Obefure. <laughs> Oh, no. Let's explore Poland. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so brutal. Oh my god. <laughs> why would you? I still can't figure out why those. Why would you post that? Yeah. They, so people don't know what I'm talking like, about. What There's a photo of all doing? these like white people and I guess yeah. Spanish, where they just what have Spanish Nazi, uh, you know, the symbols. Swastika is drawn yeah. on them. They're like, hey, look at us. We're cool. And it's like, listen, you can do whatever in your free time. Don't put it online. What do you? What do you do? Why no, would you post that? In the canceling era, no one's gonna be like. Yep, I'm down with that. I agree with them. No, it's not going to help you. Yeah, and that's out there forever now. Yeah, and the news loves putting that as like front page news, even though it's like some idiots in their home, which is not hurting anyone. It's just dumb and stupid. You shouldn't do it. So stupid. But yeah, I don't know. Who's taking photos of that and posting it? I don't, it's, it's know, why. I don't know why you would do that. Okay, this one's a good one. Um, it's uh, If you can see first, when you beat Street Fighter with Chun-Li, uh -huh. yeah. you see that, and then you see that photo. And the guy writes, I used to beat the game with Chung Lee so I could just jack off to the bottom picture of her. <laughs> this was before porn. Before porn was easily accessible. Yeah, it was internet. done. It was Super I Nintendo, son. <laughs> yeah, you Super Nintendo. You got a Street Fighter. You're like, man, I'm going to see Chung Lee for like two seconds at the end if I beat the game with her. I, I'm going to tell you right now, that bottom picture is pretty hot. I would. I hear it. All right. Oh, man. Okay, this one, this one's a little bit of a news story here. Got to support your family. Uh, only Mams, my teen son signed me up for OnlyFans so he could get more pocket money. He's fully supportive of my career. <laughs> Bro, he gonna love the, uh, the, the Call of Duty lobby. Enemy one, I'm gonna fuck your mom. This dude, <laughs> I can arrange that. That would be $4.99. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. This dude straight up, at first, it's like, she's saying this like proudly, like, oh, he fully supports my career. Yeah, because you're making money. He's selling you. Also, what's with Is the, this something you want to yo, do? Yo, what, what's with this? What's this weird Yeah, what's fucking... going on there? This weird incestuous. Yeah. Is this what's happening? This is incest porn that you guys put out there in the world? Yeah, but this is not even, it's just that, it's just a photo of them for the newspaper. Like She's got some big ass titties. Yeah, it's, no, look, he's, look at the eyes. Uh, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Yo, mom, I love them tits. This is so creepy. Yo, mom, I sell your titties. <laughs> this whole thing is creepy as fuck. Yeah, that, that's some weird shit, man. That's some weird, the kid's like, I don't give a fuck, just give me that money. All right. Oh, check out this chick with her big ass tongue. That is a long tongue. That is Jesus a long Christ, tongue. Jesus Christ, Gene Simmons. All right, I gotta get, go up so I can read. Uh, the first comment says, if she put her tongue inside somebody's butthole, she would tie their intestines together. Oh, my Oh my god. And we got two what the fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. Holy shit. Right, that dude, is that a is, long That's tongue. Gene Simmons level. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh, you say that? I said that already. I don't listen to women when they talk. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's this one? All right. Uh, do animals ever fuck the wrong species by mistake? <laughs> For example... Might a bird fuck another bird, not realizing the different species of bird? And the guy goes, entirely possible. One time I fucked my dog, thinking it was my mom. In my defense, it was dark. A comment wins the internet. <laughs> it only has six upvotes, and that's upsetting to me. <laughs> um, you know what, though? I want to know the original, an I want to know the answer to that original question. <laughs> Do they do that? Do they ever fuck like... I feel like dogs will fuck anything. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't do anything. Even if they did, it just doesn't... They don't connect. Yeah? Okay, a, a dog fucks a cat. You don't get a mix of a dog-cat. It doesn't work You don't work get like, a cat-dog? That's oh, not how cat-dogs oh, was born. Jesus Christ. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't know a what dog you're saying. and a goat. Oh, this, this one's just a quick hit. I'm pregnant, having a scan soon to find out if it's a girl or an abortion. Hashtag kill all men. You like that one? That's fucking terrifying. You like that one? Lady, you need to calm down. This is not good. 
These, see, these are the women that are giving women bad, like a bad name. You need to just, you need to just chill. And men are the problem, you know. We can't you get rid of all of them. There's no issues. Women aren't fucking crazy at any time. They're not moody. They have all the best ideas. Oh, it's you know. I mean, I think we need both sexes pretty equally. No, it did. Everyone, everyone's got issues. Is my point. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's not kind of that's that's really fucking crazy. Oh, this one's good. Is that Jesus? Oh, hold on. It's is cut that off. a Jesus dildo? It's, it's a little. It's a little cut off. Oh shit. So, all right. I guess I'll. I just have to show it and tell you what um, what it what it shares. So the guy says he went into his grandmother's place and found this religious ornament thing. I, I don't think it was like a, an ornament or religious. Did she buy that thinking it was a religious ornament or did she have a fucking dildo and she's like, if Jesus is on it, I mean, it's not the, a sin. The dude picks it up and is holding it. So I hope not because that's gross. Because then it's been inside his grandma. He's got grandma cooter on him. That, that's nasty. Graham's cooter. That, that's nasty. Ugh. Okay. I just did it for some extra money during quarantine, but took it off, so I do it here and there. It's not porn. It's fun. Don't judge me. I don't judge anyone, but we're not going to dare anymore. Wait, why? Because I, I have a fucking OnlyFans? Uh, no, I think that's pretty cool and entrepreneurial. I'm just not spending $200 in three hours of my night when I can see you naked for six ninety nine dollars right now. <laughs> You don't tell a guy before you go on the date. <laughs> yeah, dummy. Genius. Um, the guy's like, really, I'm not spending all this money. That I is really see funny. See you naked right now. $200? How, who's spent $200 on dinner? Holy shit, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it is a lot of that money. That seems like an expensive dinner. I, I mean, good good for that guy, right? I guess. He's got the cash. He's getting the ladies. Yeah. Get all the ladies. Wow. I feel like that one just hit me. I don't know if it's all the food we just ate, but I feel like a truck hit me and I feel like I'm going to pass out. Are you ready to go eat more food? Oh, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to eat more food. You're crazy. Probably. Uh, that's the show. Thank you for watching. Tell your friends. We would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, yeah. subscribe. You know, we just started this off now and we're trying to sell it to some networks, get it picked up. Your support helps. It means a lot to us. Yes. And uh, hopefully we'll have a guest on um, in the coming weeks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. As long as she asks, not forgets. Not forgets. Not forget. I'm falling. I'm just going to go to sleep now. There you go. Nine, nine. Okay. So we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Thanks right. for watching. Bye, guys. Thank you.